Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, just outside today. But I'm just doing a quick video here. Um, a lot of people been asking, actually I get this on pretty much every video I post, maybe more, like by like 10, 30 people, I reckon, um, in the last couple weeks. So uh, I'm gonna go into a bit more detail about how I find these fish on, um, on the internet and track them down so I can see where they are. So I'm gonna leave the link to this website on the in the description of this video. I don't want this video to go in the shorts because I know that's just like none of my subs will really see that. So I'm gonna make this video longer just so you can all get an idea. It's not gonna be a very long video, but yeah, all right. So I'm gonna focus on the other phone right now and show you guys what it is. All right guys, so the website is that up there, but I'll leave it in the description. The actual website is Atlas of Living Australia. If you go to Google and type that in, it'll bring you to this. So basically what you do is you type in the species that you're looking for. So say, we're looking for a sword tail. Okay, so brings up results here. Okay, so we're looking, that's a that's not a sword tail fish, but here we go, we got the sword tail there. That's a scientific name for the sword tail. We're clicking on that. It says 750 occurrences in Australia. Now there's people who have pinged this fish. There's different pictures that you can go through and see where they've been taken. But you scroll down, scroll down. Tells you a bit of information about it. Tells you a lot of information about it. Then you come down here and you see occurrences recorded map 750 records, okay? So all these little ping dots, it's where it's been recorded. So if you zoom in on this map, you can do this on computer, you can do this on your phone, it doesn't matter. All these pin dots, where people have caught them and come to this website and ping them. Most of the pings are from like actual universities and, and um, record studies and stuff like that. So like from creek surveyors. Well, basically, if you just zoom in, all right, so we got one ping there. So that's not pinged on a creek, but we're just gonna assume that this stream of water here is what that ping is for, but more accurately right here, okay? So zoom in on this. See, there's a stream here, so Simpson Road, that's here in Brisbane. And um, basically, you just wanna get the location that's closest. So zoom in here, find out what that street's name is. Carl, Carl Wooler Street, okay? So you're gonna go to your, you're gonna go to your maps now. And type in Okay, so that's the creek there. Just make sure of that. See, we're in bottom, so it's the right place. Um, so you're just gonna pick a spot here, ping it. You put your pinpoint there on your, on your maps, and you bring up the binoculars. Um, put your binoculars on that street there, if it'll let me. Alright, it's not going to let me, so let's move along to here. So as you can see, if we open this with big camera, there's your creek. It's running through this driveway here, on this road here, there's your creek there. Um, say, so, you know, go up here, let's say a sword tail's up here. Have a look in the binoculars, have a look at your creek, have a look at your access points. That looks like a really good place. If they're there, I don't know if they're there. Um, alternatively, you could actually just go around looking at these places that you think might be good. But yeah, so basically that's how you do it. You're finding your pings on here and then you're going over to your maps and typing in the location. But this has like pretty much everything you can think of on here. So if I type in guppy and go down, there's guppies. Under the scientific name, scroll down, the map pings, and there's all the pings. Just zoom in on this map. Go to somewhere that's close to where you are. Have a look at the pings on there. So Brisbane, lots of pings around here. Just have a look. See, there's a Parkwood Boulevard, Parkland Boulevard here. I've never been here before, but this looks like it would probably hold fish. So we'll go again. Park and Boulevard. Alright, 
So get that up. Okay, put a ping here. Um, try to open this one here. So this is pretty urban, this area. But if we look across there, there should be like a creek or a runoff or something over there. So it looks like that might be fenced off, but this is the whole theory behind it. You're going through, you're looking at places, you're finding, I think that's the water in there. You're finding your places and then you're going and checking them out for yourself. So you find your places, you're going and checking them out, you're putting some traps in and hopefully you come up with the goods. But yeah, basically that's how you do it guys. For everyone who's been asking, um, yeah, I hope you guys understand this. I don't know if I can make this any clearer. You can do this on your phone, you can do this on your PC. It doesn't matter. That's the website, it's gonna be in the description. And I hope you guys really understand this video and take it all in for everyone who's been asking for it. Um, yeah, so the website will be in the description. Website was on the phone. Living Atlas of Australia is the name of the website. So yeah, get into it guys, have a crack, try to get some of these fish out of the water. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys understand it. Catch you in the next one.